Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from one of the peddler malls that I have here locally. So I am filming this on the evening of Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a great time with your family, ate some great food, and just had a great day off. So I stuffed my face. I had about one plate of food, and that was it. I just That's all I could handle today. And since I have two shows happening this weekend, um, Saturday you can catch me at my regular live sale at 6 p.m. Eastern, but I'm also going to be participating in a Black Friday, Cyber Monday extravaganza that's hosted by Amy of Amy's, um, oh my gosh, that's really bad, Rock and Pop Shop. And I will be selling on whatnot through that event starting... I'll be at 1.30. There's going to be a bunch of us selling. So I'm really excited to do that. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you guys are going out on Black Friday, crossing my fingers, you get what you were going for. Or if you're just going to stay and chill in the house or whatever it is that you usually do on Black Friday. I hope that you enjoy that time. So at this particular mall, I spent a grand total of $109.18 for everything you're going to see. Um, I did pay up for one particular item, so that really made this total a lot. So, But anywho, uh, let's go ahead and check out what I got, shall we? A couple of these things are going to be for eBay. A lot of the other things are going to be for live sales. So if you do see anything you're interested in purchasing, you can email me directly. Uh, my email is linked in the description box below. Also, the items that I am selling on eBay should be listed by the time this video uploads. So um, I'll let you know where something is going to be sold. And if it's on eBay, it most likely will be up live, ready for you to purchase if you're interested. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is not old, but I looked at it and I thought it was really interesting. Uh, the person um, who has this booth, uh, they've got one here and they've got one at the Boonesboro Antique Mall. And it's just, it's very funky. There's lots of like weird odds and ends. And sometimes they f have a really good thing in there and they don't ask a lot. And sometimes they know exactly what they have and they ask a little bit more for it. But this is a Bridgewater Seabirds mug. It was made by Emma Bridgewater, hence the Bridgewater name. And it says Oyster Catcher on the inside. It looks like we got seagulls. I don't see this one listed, but I have seen these mugs. Uh, I think they're sold overseas in the UK for a lot of American dollars. So I think I might be able to get some pretty good money for this one. I'm not sure what I'll be asking. It does look like it needs to be cleaned on the inside, but it doesn't, it's nothing too bad. Maybe a little bit of utensil marks and such, but this outside is what really matters. So I got that. I did get some salt and pepper shakers. Uh, clown alert for those of you who don't like clowns. Um, these were made in Japan. They were in a booth that was 75% off. And I said if that booth went 75 off, I would probably go a little nuts. And I, I got a few things. I was being particularly picky that day until I racked up $100 worth of stuff. So those should be up for grabs at a sale. Uh, those... I should have sold at Halloween time because they're orange and white, but I missed my opportunity, but that's okay. Now, I do want to start putting some stuff away for springtime. Um, unless you all are interested in it right now, I have no problem selling it right now, so you have it for that time period. So these are flowers in a pot. It looks like we have a small little nick right there, but you can, if you find this right color of nail polish, you can touch that up. They're marked Japan. So I got those. These are super cute. I don't know if they go together. We got a sleeping bun bun and we've got a carrot. 
I almost want to say they don't go together because this one says Inesco and then this one just says Made in Japan. But they kind of go well together. You got a bun bun sleeping by the carrot. And then I got this thing. This was in the 75 off booth. It's a bank, but it's a service station. I'm wondering if maybe there was a car that was supposed to sit here. Isn't that just really cool? Again, that was 75 off of the $40 price tag that was on it. Would I have spent 40 on that? Absolutely not. So this is really neat. This is a great piece of mid-century. Um, at least I think it's mid-century or maybe like maybe early 60s. It's just a uh, umbrella in a makeshift stand. I think I've sold something like this before, but I know that somebody out there is really going to like that. This I just couldn't leave for the price of $1.50. Um, these, you see them, at least I do, every now and then. Um, it's a marigold. It looks like a flower. Great for, you know, if you're serving maybe some nuts and candies on. Um, like I said, I see these quite often, so I don't like to pay too much for them. So that way you all can still get a good price for them when I sell them. Not sure if I will be saving that for a time when I do a sale with the old curiosity shop, but we will see. I loved these black elephant salt and pepper shakers, don't you, with the red ears? Those are, I think, I assume they're probably, or were made in Japan. So I love those. This too came from the 75% off booth. It is a bowling pin bottle opener. I could not leave that. I just love that. I think that's very unique and fun. So I had to pick that up. This I actually got right when you walk into this store, the first booth that has a mixture of vintage and newer items. This is an anthropology pack mule. Oh, llama. Looks like a pack mule. Trinket holder. Um, these, I think I might be able to get about $20 for that because anthropology... It's a very boutique-y type store if you've never been to one. Uh, I haven't personally, but I do know that they do charge a lot of money for their things. Trinkets and clothing. This surprised me greatly. This little boxing glove planter. I think this is made by Hager, if I'm not mistaken. I was going to put it in my live sale, but um, I decided, you know what? Go ahead and look it up real quick and see if there's any listed or sold. None are listed, and somebody had one listed, or someone had one that sold that they had listed for $32.50, and they took an offer on it. So I think I'm probably going to list this little guy for about $34.99 and do the same, take a best offer. So that you should see in my eBay store. This was an accidental purchase. I'm, I don't know if this was something that was worth a lot. And that's why I picked it up, but it was not on sale and I paid $9.95 for it. So I don't, I don't know what, where my, or I don't know where my mind was at the time, but I wound up buying this for $9.95. I must've thought that it was on sale and it just wound up not being so because I bought this stuff back in September. So yeah, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm, Part of me thinks that I looked this up and saw they were going for something, but that could just very well be wishful thinking. So I think that's everything here. These next two items were rather interesting, and that's why I picked them up. Also, the price was right. This bowl here, this glass uh, bowl, has been sitting at this mall for a long time, and I've admired it ever since you know, the first time I saw it, but I wasn't sure what exactly what it is or who made it because there's no maker's mark. I did a couple of Google Lens searches just to kind of get an idea as to who may have possibly made it. Um, this was, let me see here. Uh, it was really, it was really inexpensive. Um, uh, originally, I, I want to say he had like eight or nine or maybe even 12 bucks on it. And then he had it marked down to 250 and then 20% off of that. So I only paid $1.63 for it. But look at this jadeite color on the back. Like I said, this could very well have been like a project piece. I really don't know. I just liked the funkiness of it. 
So when I saw the $2.50 price tag, because like I said, he marked some stuff down. And then the 20% off, I was like, I probably should just go ahead and get this for that. Because, you know, sometimes it pays to learn. And, you know, that wasn't very expensive. So I said, what the heck? Now, this piece has me stumped because I get Art Deco vibes from it. However, if you look on the inside here, it looks like somebody may have spray painted this piece. So that, to me, says that this is probably not from the Deco era. Because if it was, it would probably be a lot heavier and you wouldn't be seeing spray paint marks on it. But it's got an intricate look to it. I assume it probably held a flower vase or like flower pot or something. Um, it was $3.99, so I did take a chance on that. Um, I might be able to get that gold paint off of it. Although I do think it kind of complements it well because of all the intricate designs on it. But like I said, I really don't have any idea as to what this could be other than like a vase holder or a flower pot holder. But I thought they were interesting enough, like I said, these two pieces, and they were very inexpensive. So sometimes when something is just that inexpensive, you take a chance on it. So I have shared pretty much everything that I would like to share with you all from this haul, but I've got two items that were my absolute favorite find, and we're going to go ahead and check them out. So these are the final two items that I would like to share with you all from this trip to this particular Petler Mall. So these are so cool. These are Art Deco. These are bookends, and they are of a beta, I think it's a beta fish. Maybe not a beta fish, just a fish in general. As you can see, the price was $28.98, so almost $30. That's what made my um, invoice so high, but I love them. Uh, I may save these for a sale that I do with the old Curiosity Shop if I don't keep them. I'm leaning more towards selling them, but you never know. Sometimes I may change my mind. That's just what happens. Now, this is awesome. I got this in a booth that was 20% off, and it was already a really good price. This is a Hall teapot, not H-U-L-L, H-A-L-L. And it's a nice shade of green, and it's got gold stars on it. I love it. It says H-A-L-L, -L, made in U.S. It's a six-cup teapot. And the gold on it is in really nice condition, like it's not worn or anything. So I may be saving that for my future home. I love that piece. And while I'm not much of a tea drinker, at least hot tea anyway, I just love it. It's got a really great look to it. And if I didn't say already, I think that's probably from the 1940s, if I'm not mistaken. So folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to this particular peddler mall. Let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items from this haul. Do remember that if you see something in this video that you're interested in purchasing and you're not going to be available for the live sale, you can email me. I will go ahead and add it to my items to invoice and ship for the week. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you all tomorrow at my live sale, 6 p.m. Eastern.